We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the convoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. My cyber warfare suite has accessed their docking protocols. Once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Your expertise with the Geth is a welcome addition, Tally. Indy. So... a body. It has proven useful. I hope it doesn't cause you concern. Not unless you go crazy and decide to overthrow the humans. If I decide to overthrow the humans, you will be the first to know. Shepard, there's a problem. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. We're having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance Dreadnought. Gravity's a little disorienting. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Till then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Geth don't use windows, remember? Structural weakness. Like the Geth are just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no-windows thing twice. Looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the Dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the Dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. I'm inside. I've got gravity again. Great. There should be a hull breach not far from your position. The nearest undamaged docking tube is on the other side. Think I found that hull breach you mentioned. Admiral Geralt tried a frontal assault. We lost six frigates. That tiny hole was the only damage we did. I wouldn't call it tiny. Not the way you'd have done it? No, he was too aggressive. I argued, but as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet, it was ultimately his decision. Hmm. What about the other admirals? Zen backed the invasion, largely as a chance to test her toys. Ron gave provisional support. Only Chorus opposed the war with me, and he was right. We could lose the whole fleet, Shepard. We'll get your people out of here safely. I 
found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Thank you, Shepard. I will try to find a more convenient docking point next time. Next time? Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy force. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Guardian anti-fighter lasers. I believe the dreadnoughts using ultraviolet frequencies instead of the standard infrared. Expensive. But it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. Signals hitting all Geth processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. Its structure is amazingly complex. It is unsurprising that the Corians have been unable to disrupt it. We may be able to extract combat data from these sensor panels. We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? Unlikely. Consoles like this are accessing programs being used by hundreds of deaths simultaneously. They are all networked cooperatively to disable the Reapers. The Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's cut the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. Moving in. One 
hunter down. We must find the remaining hunters. That's the last of them. Let's see if that console is operational. Shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency, like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile death on the other side of the doors. Geth are dropping from the ceiling! There could be cloak hunters as well! Geth reinforcements have arrived. not organics. Intriguing. I found the geometric shades intuitive and comfortable. I assumed you all felt the same. I can detect the faint presence of Geth intelligences. Those not loaded into mobile platforms serve in the ship itself. For all our cybernetic upgrades, I'll never understand integrating that completely into a system. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Shortly, Admiral.
The main gun is offline. We're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move. Shepard, the lock. Come on, let's get out of here. Excellent timing. Watch your shield! Dip to cover! Good. Hopefully we're done with elevators. Hey, come on. The drive course shouldn't be far. <laughs> 